Welcome back, everybody, to my channel. I'm Calvin, also known as Sunshine Shoulders. I didn't save enough for my retirement. What am I supposed to do now? Let's have that discussion. Maybe this can help somebody today. When I retired, December 3rd, actually, 2018, I was 55 years old. I self-retired. I retired myself. There was no pension, there was no nothing. I was physically and mentally drained. I jumped off the hamster wheel. I left the rent race. And at that time, you know, I didn't think about being in the situation I'm in today. You know, retiring early has its advantages, but it also has a lot of disadvantages. I just like to talk about stuff like this because I think it's very important. But I'm not by myself. I'm going to put a link in the description. Actually, two. One from Forbes, one from Business Insider. One from Business Insider uh, did a survey of 1,000 Americans, 60 and over. And they asked them what were their biggest regrets about retiring. The two biggest regrets were they didn't save enough for retirement and they took their Social Security too early. Because I'm, I'm not going to lie, man, I'm financially illiterate, really. I know nothing about investing and anything like that. No one around me was investing. That's one of the reasons why I don't have any money today. And then I come from a consumer-driven society, America. I was just spending everything as soon as I got it, racking up bills and and everything like that. Retirement was never on my radar. I was like, I'll take care of that when I get to it. But man, those years fly by, man. And you end up and you realize you don't have enough. And it controls a lot of my decisions, man. Number one of them is living outside the United States. It's forcing me to live outside the United States. Because I can't afford to live in America right now. Not on the money I'm earning. I don't want to live in low-income housing. I don't want government handouts. I don't want to scrape by. And I certainly don't want to go back to work. Wow. Who is this? Oh, that's the neighbor. According to Forbes, one in six retirees go back to work. Because they can't afford to retire. They can't afford to stay home and do nothing. They want to go back because at least they're, they're able to earn some money. Because, you know, when you retire, you know, most people think, oh, I'm just going to kick back, relax, and enjoy life. But you spend time spending. This is what the article in Forbes said, and it's right. But I don't have enough, man. I, I'm not going to lie about it. And, you know, depending on the YouTube channel, man, that's a shaky retirement. Okay. I'm really forced to, because of my lack of a financial plan, I'm really forced to take my Social Security at 62. Because I really don't want to depend on YouTube. There's some more things I've got going on. There's some more ideas. Okay, because I'm not just going to lay down and give up. But these are the type of discussions we need to have because I know there's somebody out there right now that's wondering, hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm tired of working. And, and if that's the only reason you want to retire, you may be retiring for the wrong reason. You better think that all the way through. You know, one of the biggest reasons that I told you, I said, you know, when I get 65, man, you know, if the creek don't rise, I'm fortunate enough. I'm going to have to go back to the United States because now... You're talking about my health care. If I don't have enough money to retire, I surely don't have enough money to retire without health care. See, I'm still healthy right now, so my health care is not that expensive. But I'm not going to continue to make the stupid financial decisions that get me in this uh, jackpot situation to begin with. And one of them will be throwing away my Medicare, man. I'm not going to do that. So it's just something that you think about. You know, you can't retire too early. 
I don't have any regrets. I'm just being 100% real. This is the nitty gritty. I retired because I was tired of working. I don't think that's a good enough reason to retire. Now that I'm starting to heal, I've healed, and I'm mentally and physically stronger now than I was in 2018, I'm thinking to myself, was it the right decision? I'm a human being. You're always going to have second thoughts, guys. People always say, oh, you, you sound like you have regrets. Man, everybody has regrets. It's, it's not regrets, it's second thoughts. You know, hindsight's always 2020. I may help somebody right now stay on the hamster wheel for that extra year or two or whatever it is. I'm actually thinking about not taking my retirement at 62 now. Even though I'm being forced, if my YouTube channel continues to grow and everything like that, I might as well just stay on YouTube instead of taking my Social Security because if I do, it's going to mess with my Social Security benefits anyway. See, I'm, I'm, I was born in May 1963. I'm a baby boomer. So I have to draw, you know, for me to draw full Social Security where it doesn't uh, limit how much I can earn, it's 67. That's how, that's how old I have to be. You know, because I'm at the point right now, man, where I don't have a whole lot of choices. But the number one choice I don't have is to live in America. I, I just can't live the life I want to live there. Yeah, that's a big reason I'm here, man. You guys are always talking about women, man. That's not the reason a lot of guys are over here, man. They just can't afford to live in their own countries anymore. So we deal with what we got to deal with over here. At least I'm living comfortably. I mean, you know, 3000 about 3000 U.S. a month, man. I'm scraping by, man. I'm on fumes over there. Because my rent is going to be uh, a third of that. Then my utilities are going to be another 25% of what's left of that. And my food is going to take up the rest. I'm not going to have anything left to do anything else. I can't go to the movies. I'm living, you know, man, it's a shaky life, man. But, you know, you make your bed, you got to lie in it, man. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make it work no matter what. But I am just want to be honest with you today. I didn't save enough for retirement. So I'm living... My best life in the Philippines. People always ask me, why are you still over there, man? Because I can't afford to live anywhere else. I can't afford to live at home. I love my family. I love my friends. You know, there's a lot, a lot of things I miss about America. But I don't miss the high cost of living, man. I don't want to go on food stamps. I don't want Section 8. I don't want to live in one of those warehouses for old people but that's my options if I go back home and I certainly don't want to go back to work so it's just something to think about I retired because I was tired of working man I, I don't think you should do that I probably should have sought some help and stayed back out there grinding but I've done it now I've made my bed and I'm going to lie in it I'm going to make it work so if you're in America, if you're in the Philippines, wherever you are, find it in your heart to help somebody. Now, day goes bad and I don't help somebody. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Don't do anything stupid. Think it all the way through, man. I know you're tired. I know you don't like your boss and your co-workers. You don't feel appreciated on the job. But do you really have enough money to retire? Do you have a sound financial plan to walk off that hamster wheel? Because if you don't, man, you may have to grit your teeth, man, and keep going. I know you say, well, you can't take money with you and all of that. You know, all the things we say to justify these old screwed up financial decisions we make.
I don't know, man. It's just something I got up with on, you know, with in my mind. You know, this elections today, you know, go out and vote. I did the electronic ballot just in time. I was able to do it, but it's not going to change my life, man. It's not going to change my life one bit. I still got to put on my pants. I still got to put on my big black boots and get it done, guys. They're still going to have the embargo on Cuba. Imagine, I'm going to say this before I get off here. The only thing that's crazy, they just had a vote in the UN recently. Everybody in the world voted to end that embargo in Cuba except for two countries. You probably can guess which two. Yeah, the United States and Israel. It's not affecting the government over there. It's not affecting the leadership. It's just making life miserable. See, so no matter who is elected tonight, they're still going to continue that stupid-ass embargo, man.